Do you know that there are eight angels whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has assigned to each one of us from birth until death? And they actually swap shifts every day at Fajr time and at Asr time. As you know, one of the pillars of our Islamic faith is to believe in the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, the angels of Allah never disobey Allah. They love their Lord and they revere Him. They are created from light. The nature of this light is unknown to us. And they are created without desires, without temptations. And they are all genderless. There's no male or female angels. They are uncountable in number. Each one of them has a duty. And did you know that they actually supplicate and pray for the people of earth every day? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, for example, in Surah Al-Shura, وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ يُسَبِّحُونَ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّهِمْ وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَلَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah says, and the angels glorify their Lord, and they supplicate to Allah and ask Him to forgive those who are on earth. Behold, Allah is the most forgiving, the most merciful. In both Sahih Bukhari and Muslim, it is reported that the Prophet wasallam said, angels of the night and angels of the day swap shifts to watch over you. They swap shifts at Fajr time and at Asr time each day. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks each time, in what state did you leave my servants? While well, he knows already. And they reply, our Lord, we left them praying, meaning at Fajr time. And they say, oh, our Lord, we left them praying again, meaning at Asr time. You know, brothers and sisters, this is worth our attention. How would you like them to witness you and bear witness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these two states? Would you like them to report Oh Allah, we left them sleeping and ignoring the Fajr prayer or the Asr prayer or neglecting their duties or even worse, something shameful or disgraceful. The angels assigned to each of us are four in the day and four in the evening, so eight in total. And there is a hadith which says that there could be more. The authentic sources from the Quran and from the Sunnah is that eight angels surround us and accompany us as follows. The first angel is the one on our right. It is the one that writes the good deeds. And the second angel on the left, the one who writes the bad deeds. And this is evident in the Quran in Surah Qaf, verse 17, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذْ يَتَلَقَّ الْمُتَلَقِّيَانِ عَنِ الْيَمِينِ وَعَنِ الشِّمَالِ قَعِيدٍ As the two recording angels, one sitting to the right, and the other to the left, they note everything. These two angels, brothers and sisters, watch everything you do, everything, and they never leave your side. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَعْلَمُونَ مَا تَفْعَلُونَ They know everything you are doing, subhanAllah. But they are also created to have mercy and compassion towards people. Did you know, for example, the authentic hadith states that the angel on the right is in charge of the angel who is on the left. And the angel on the right says to the angel on the left when the human person does a sin, when the Muslim does a sin, wait, don't write it. Maybe he or she will repent. And he gives him six hours. But if they do repent, they forgive it and nothing is written. And if he does it, it's written as one. Whereas the angel of the right writes your deed as at least 10 when you do a good deed out of the mercy of Allah. A person may ask, why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need angels anyway? Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need angels to serve him. He is the majestic and the all-powerful. However, th at least three reasons. Number one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifests his power and his majesty through his angels. So when you hear about so many angels revering Allah and worshipping Allah and obeying Allah, then you feel and you know how majestic and powerful and great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Did you know there are angels?